Hey Wolfpackers Crimson Wolf and welcome back to Dragon Age to Veilguard. So I am back into Venter and we're going to do the main quest line now. So let's get started with that. The one that I have marked is not the main quest line. I don't feel like sharing it to it, so we're just gonna head and go. Uh, before I do that, let me see it to you. There's good magisters, don't get me New wares today, just for you. Do you have anything I want? Uh, da, 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 no. No armor. Oh, yeah, we have some reins, though. You can upgrade that one. Ooh, makes a lot of my stuff legendary. And yes, other for now, but I don't have item for it or not oh I'm going to buy the stuff like this just so I can get the appearance stuff out the way and I need who about four sixteen hundred more till next time all right um where's the quest at I know it's down below if I want to make sure I'm not missing anything track that and because Scott Harden's with me she should have a she might have a so after crossing paths in the deep roads you kept in touch with Evka and Antoine yeah we trade letters every few months one time Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing based on springs it chimed when it closed so you wouldn't get stuck she can be a little unorthodox they're hitting us from afar Time to end this. All right, yeah. you're down. This is costing some. Oh, sir. Yeah. Uh. All right. You both have heels. So after crossing paths in the deep roads, you kept in touch with Evka and Antoine? Yeah, we trade letters every few months. One time Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing based on springs. It chimed when it closed, so you wouldn't get stuck. He can be a little unorthodox. Aren't we all? Okay. All right, I have done a lot of quests so far, and I have run into a wall, so I have to go ahead and get this out the way. I'm just me and Morgan here. And now it's rocket. Start conversation. I wish there was something I could do. Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed, but today we have a guest, and he needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Trevelyan, the man who led us all. Trevelyan? Isn't that the name of a noble family down in the south? Yes. I remember the days before the Inquisition when Trevelyan family politics were the most complicated part of my life. Simpler times. I fear that simpler times are like to remain a memory for now. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elgernon and Gilanane. I won't let you down. Don't worry about me. Worry about the people you've recruited, and about the people depending on you. I only sealed the breach because I had people like Cassandra, Liliana, and Cullen with me from the start. Without Dorian's magic and Josephine's diplomacy, we never would have come together to stop Corypheus. 
Years later, I had to disband the Inquisition. But I never lost the friends who had gotten me through it all. Ultimately, they're the only ones you can really count on. Do right by them, and you'll find your way. You've got the makings of a good team, I think. We'll do our best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do his best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. He has not been idle while you assembled your team. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Alluvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Alluvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's vir of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet him. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the south. Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the north. But the forces they deployed to the south, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Orlais. Valroyo and Halam Sharal are barely holding out. For Elden would have fallen already if not for help from Lorzamar. With Denerim lost, the Fereldans are holding the line at Redcliffe. The Free Marches have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Vallon led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Maker, we didn't know. My ma... Don't worry. I called in a favor with the Divine. Your mother's safe with some old friends. Thank you. The Inquisition might be gone, but my name still carries some weight. I've used it to get people working together where they can. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thetis doesn't fall to the Blight. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My political strength? Deventer hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. He brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him, somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Right now, Solus is giving us the information we need to track down the gods. Yes, he is a vital source of information and advice, just as he was to the Inquisition before. He is the Dread Wolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many alliances do you think he has made and broken? I considered Solus a friend. I had hoped to convince him to see reason. It's too late for that now. But still, if this can give you some insight, help you understand him, whatever it turns out to be, I hope that it helps. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help you, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Okay, so we we should take a break. Head back to the lighthouse for a bit. So we met the Inquisitor, which I had to kind of 
I gave him a shorter haircut than what he had in Inquisition um, because I'm like, okay, he's probably got cleaned up a little bit. If you look at his left hand, that's the way he cut off. He has a prosthetic now. So that's a pretty interesting little tidbit there. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Nothing has opened up. So I'm so, assuming something will open up more into the world. But let's head back to our lighthouse. Hopefully something else will go down there. Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thedas is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. How long do we have? A day, a week, Darkspawn are charging through the deep roads. Makes it hard to get an accurate idea of where they are. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon, Warden Lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solus. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. Okay, so we can talk to Soldus, which is cool. No one has anything to say. Um, uh, y'all are all over the place right now. Oh wait, let me go talk to Harding. So real quick, as I'm going to Harding, there is a theory that a lot of people had that that the Evaners are connected to the Archdemons because it was seven and seven. Yada yada yada. Y'all probably heard about this if you anything. So Tosh, you're the dragon hunter this outfit. Yep. And you do monsters. Seems our work's going to overlap. No, it's not. I handle dragons. You kill monsters. And Darkspawn. Dragons are monsters. What? No, dragons are natural. Been around longer than we have. Darkspawn and monsters are just Vashadon that came later. Fair enough. But I'll handle any archdemons we meet. <sighs> Fine. But I get to help. Yep. Okay. You're arguing about who's going to kill the archdemon dragon? All right. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, there is the theory that the arch. I'm not sure how many people believe this theory. I know I can don't. I'm um, in it because I put a video out there later that the arch demons and the Venus are connected, just like how uh, in Inquisition, uh, Mathal gave Morgan the ability to transform into a dragon. So and so this didn't seem particularly happy killing the arch demons in some way, but I'm not sure. I think they are connected, so I think Gilanane and Elganon are probably resurrecting their dragons. I'm not sure if it is the last two dragons, but we'll see, I guess, in a story. Let's talk to Harding and see what she has to say. You have really just green thumbed this. Oh, you, oh God, there's a, was that always up there? I have no idea if that was up there before. Any luck tracking down your mystery friend? The Shaper didn't like me asking about Shaper Valta. Or harassing people with talk of dwarven magic. Damn. That's a disappointment. Well, I'm not gonna find my answers in Orzammar. My contacts had no idea what I was talking about. So, what now? I was thinking. The voice said look to those closest to the stone. What if she never meant Orzammar? Huh? There is another great Taig, the original capital of the dwarves, Cal Chirac. It was lost during the First Blight, and its people survived in isolation for hundreds of years. They re-emerged, oh, some 20 years ago? And you think they're closer to the stone? Orzammar can't help. What have I got to lose? Are you sure Orzammar isn't hiding something? Pressing them for information would be tricky. I could anger someone important. If Cal Chirac doesn't turn out, I can go back to poking at Orzammar. But not before then. I'm curious about Cal Chirac's isolation. The dwarves took heavy losses during the First Blight. 
To stop the Darkspawn from overrunning them, they closed off passages in the Deep Roads. Those that could retreated to Orzammar. Kal Shirak was lost. They abandoned the city and its people, sealed them away with the Darkspawn. There must have been another way. What they did was monstrous. Can you imagine being trapped, knowing death was coming? But they didn't die. The rumors. That the dwarves of Kal Shirak had to change to survive? No one's really sure what that means exactly. When we find them, you can ask. How do we get in touch with these Kal Shirak dwarves? Already working on it. You don't spend ten years in the Inquisition without making contacts. I should have a meeting set up by the time we're ready to leave. Hey, we get to go to Kalsha Rock. I was hoping it was Kalsha Rock right at Ozmar. I'm like, I would like to go back to Ozmar, but not in this one. Let me visit the Dwarven Tide that was lost. Yo, we get to go to Kalsha Rock. That's awesome. So I'm happy about that. What the hell are y'all two talking about? Oh, I gotta go talk to Varric. I met the Inquisitor, so I, I should see if Varric has anything to say about that. She's with this. Oh, no, she's with, uh... So, does Manfred have, you know, uh, people thoughts and feelings? His self-expression may be limited, but Manfred is as cognizant of his surroundings as you or I. Ah, to a certain degree. What the hell is that? Alright. I'm going to go ahead and go see if Varric has anything to say about the Inquisitor. And then I can talk to Sodas. But we get to go to Gaucher Rock. I'm excited for that. Hey, Rook. Nice to have our own kitchen, don't you think? That's what you got to say? Met your old friend. You didn't want to say anything, right? You. you know what? I never forgot what happened to Hawk. Wait, what is this? Huh. You cannot do this, Algonan. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mithal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Alvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Dabrin's. That can't be easy, Blara. It was so mundane. Nothing grand or cosmic, no setting fire to the sun, just talking, politics. I wish they were monsters, something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than Tevinter nobles. But no worse, either. They were people, and people can let you down. All right, what else can we take from this memory? Elgrinon was hungry for power, did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elganon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. 
Then she sides with Elgernon over him. A betrayal. It sounded like Solus was loyal to Mythal. What did Elgernon call him? Mythal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elgernon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elgernon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regrets. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. Oh, y'all can see my... <laughs> Alright, so that was cool. Hey, what is this? Oh no, that's that. It's at the bottom there. Wait, hold on. What the hell is that quest? Not that. I changed decor. Uh, view a memory. I think I have all of them, don't I? Um, hard. Okay, that's Harding. Travel to the deep roads. Travel to the deep, deep roads. Yada yada yada. Uh, factions lighthouse. View the memory. Okay, we can do that after we do talk to Sodas. I'm assuming they each gonna have. See, like, there's one, two, three, four. So I have actually all four of these. Because I already. I think I have all four of them. But let me talk to Sodas first. This is cool. I like that. Um, Alright. And apparently, Nev disapproved. Let me see. Did that, how did that affect my thing with her? I'm not sure because it disappro does this approval um advanced relationship each rank grants two I'm not sure what how much this plays a part because I'm not sure exactly like he's at four which sucks five four five five four so the three newest ones are at four which makes sense all right all right, Sodas, what you got to say, buddy? How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an archdemon. And you have questions. I need to know how archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the blighted dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question, if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? I've gotten a few of them to come around. A few of them? We've even got a Grey Warden on the team now. Davrin. But the Grey Wardens as a whole still do not trust you yet, as I feared. We're making progress. When I asked you why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said you were no stranger to fighting stronger opponents. That sufficed for me. But the Grey Wardens fight Darkspawn and Archdemons, foes no one else can stand against. They see themselves as the best prepared for this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the first Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. 
Did you know the Evanuris once numbered many more than those whose names survived in the Elven Pantheon? One warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? All I can really do is keep trying to get through to them. Have you ever ridden home in a wagon and felt the streets go from paved to dirt beneath the wheels? The horse is slow, and everything grows quiet as you're near home. What do you call that feeling? I don't really have a word for it. No, you do not. Elganon destroyed that emotion. He burned it from the mind of every living being. There were spirits of that feeling, just as there are spirits of joy or fear or despair. I begged them to fight. What happened to them? They waited too long. Without the emotion in this world to focus on, they faded until nothing remained. When you grow quiet, it is a part of your soul reaching for a feeling and finding emptiness. Because I fail. I understand. I'm not going to fail. How? What will you do? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. The old stories of the Tevinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient Magisters. How did they do that if they were just tools of the Elven gods? The Archdemons were once high dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganon is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Mithor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves, with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. What about Gilanane and her dragon? Pride and ego can blind someone. We can exploit that. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrul, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. 
you will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. So that confirmed a lot of theories we had that the Evanaris and the, the Venter Gods or the Archdemons are in fact connected. Like that completely just boom, there you go. That's the that's the confirmation that you need. And I am happy about it. Cause there was it was easy to kind of what the hell is that? But it was easy to kind of figure it out. Okay, yeah, the Evanuris, there are seven of them, seven arch demons, which were seven to venture gods. Yeah, they're definitely going to be, um, con you, you assume that they're going to be connected. So this just was a logical step. So I'll do these one at a time once we do Y stuff and all that. But yeah, like, like, of course, like, I'm so happy that they confirmed that, that these, that the gods, the, the vendor gods are just puppets of the Evanuris or just, I know you can handle this. Trust yourself and trust the team. Okay, Barrett, you're not telling me anything. But I am, the confirmation is just great to have in general. All right, well, I'm doing the wrong thing. All right, no one has a thing. They're all in their own little spots. Journal. Let's see, Siege of Wysup. Uh, travel to the deep road to be the cross. All right, so let's try to see if we could do something with Harding real quick before we go for it with um yeah. with the main quests. So let's bring the Harding, and we'll bring the. All right, they're already party. All right, travel to attract quests. Thanks for coming, Rook. I hope the Kalsharok dwarves have some answers. Dude, we get to go to Kalsharok. A lot of rats. Um, okay. Lyrium. I think that's Lyrium. I'm assuming that's Lyrium. Nice little statues. What is this? Oh, that's Lyrium dust and pure ore. Goddess crystal and fate touch crystal. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, rock water. Um, can I go to the right? Looks like I can go to the right. Let's see. All right, nothing here. Oh, snap. Well, you're dead. Excellent form, Rook. Got through that. You dropped the rune? Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we get to Cal Shirok. I'm excited to if it's actually a city of, of the dwarves. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a tyke. Let me see. Oh, snap. There's. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This is the only other dwarven tyke. I was supposed to meet someone named Stallguard. He, he told me to come here. He seemed nice in his message. This is the only other dwarven tyke in Thetis. Where do we go? All right, gotta go to the right. So you don't actually know who or what this Stellguard is. 
A new friend, I hope. Okay, we can go down real quick. Hold on. As excited as I am, I'm got, I gotta go see what. I gotta see everything. Actually, I don't know if this is a solo mission for. I'm assuming I can come back here, right? I'm hoping I can come back to Kalshara. Oh, good. There's a unique chest down here. What in the fuck is this? Unique amulet. Uh, plus three deflect maximum stacks. Deflects and now absorbs only 40% only of the damage. Gain deflect. Okay. Um, not exactly something I need. I need to put some randomness up. This is dangerous. This is a safety hazard. All right. So I got a unique item. I'm assuming I probably can't come back here then. No snap. We're supposed to meet Stalgard here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most likely. Um, one second. Ooh. See? See? I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back here. I'm, on it. I'm not going to drop that just in case. Don't be a trap. Okay. Okay. New staff for, uh... I'm curious why this one had to... Hold up. Curious if this does anything. Got it. No, that's okay. Up. Oh. New tie. Stallguard? Yes. I... Lace Harding, of the Inquisition. Wait, how do you know about... And this is the one they call Rook? A Tevinter Mage. So you've heard of us. You have brought a strange assortment to our gates, Lace Harding. Thanks for meeting with us. I really hope you can help Harding. You are gracious in your address. It is not necessary. Tell me what you wish. I... I'm looking for someone touched by the Ancients. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. She has been waiting for you. Follow, and keep your weapons ready. The roads are dark. The creatures there even more so. That's cryptic. You are staring. What? No. You want to know if you can see the corruption you hear we carry? Sorry. I shouldn't have. Yo, I need to look around, dude. This is the only other type besides Ozamar. Y'all, tresses are definitely different. Ilya, have you seen my chisel? How do y'all know about us, though? Like, if y'all been cut off, well, y'all were rediscovered in the last 20 years, but y'all been cut off since then. Oh, check your pockets. Wait, y'all the... Wait. The surface is open here. Okay. Where did he go? He went down there. I'm looking around, man. I got to. I have to look around. The first tie. Y'all still have a lot of stuff. Does look like y'all got. Oh wait, what's this? Statue of Egon, wind, wind spread. Is there a statue of him in Ozmar? Retrieve from level three, section four, and in in restored to original form. Scholars believe this is to be representation of Pagan Egon Winter's breath. 
I don't know if he's actually in Northern Mario. I, Dwarven Lore is one I'm not 100% familiar with in Dragon Age. That's the ones I haven't looked up as much. Because Devin Norris takes up so much lore. Good lord, dude. Now, it's still uncovering stuff. Which y'all only got rediscovered in the last 20 years. Like, people know about China in the last 20 years or so. But y'all have been here since... The, what's the first blight? Second blight? I can't remember what blight. Um, but y'all should have had a lot more recovery unless there's something a deeper. A person will do almost anything to survive. That is what my people did. Become like the Darkspawn or be destroyed by them. Not much of a choice. You hold on, man. I'm about to explore your tag a bit. There's a... How many times have you been to the surface? Wait, what? Wait, in these years, have they gone to the surface? So are they completely? I can't remember. I don't remember if Kalshrak. We didn't have any more lore on Kalshrak. It's strange how much Orzammar's people fear the surface. Why would they strip your car just to be up here? It keeps their people loyal. It allows them to easily dismiss those looking for another way to exist. Okay, so yeah. You see the political change and cultural change between Kalshrak and Ozamar where Kalshrak will go to the service and they don't have an issue with it. But even before the flight, I believe there was a thing where they couldn't, they didn't let people go, they didn't have to go to the service. They had a into Venter because Kalshrak's really right next, almost close to the Venter. There was a tie close to the Venter. They built a temple where the dwarves didn't have to leave the deep road so they didn't lose their cast. At least that's what I remember. A statue of Imor Val Design. Retrieved in pieces from level 1, section 13, identified by a nearby plaque that read Imor. So they, they've been re, uh, rediscovering all of their history and recovering and everything. More surprised to see. I'd like to see me in Rathus one day. I read about it. This is so interesting. The difference between Ozamar and Kalsharab's dwarves. I think they're still rebuilding and recovering so much of their. so much of everything. But the, who's leading? Do they have a king here or not? What do you mean you're like the Darkspawn? Kalsharok was abandoned to its fate many generations ago, when the Darkspawn first came. We lost many, some to the corruption, some by their own hand, and some found another way. Atuva Galta Satot. The stone is colder than death, as they say. The wardens will be welcome here. Once the outpost is re-established. Wasn't this a trading outpost before? Do you intend to use it for trade again? Oh, no. That sort of leery of trade was done generations ago. The Kalsharok do not require trade to survive these times. Huh. Dude, look at their artistry. I guess, like, just lore-wise, this is amazing. I'm, I know I'm going, like, over 45 minutes right now with this video. But do it, like you gotta admit, like this is a whole new thing going into the Kel Sharak. Like the lore and what's being uncovered like in this game. Ooh, so much to unveil. The ballista. Okay, a gate. They're gonna lock us in.
good. With minimum damage. Alright, I may have to end the episode here. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to get into something formidably cool. And I don't want to have this episode go like an hour already. So let me get a uh, fragment touched ore. Alright, so yeah, I'm end up episode here, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you like, please like, share, comment. And let me know what you think about the fact that we are now able to explore Kel Sharak. This is so dope. I'm looking forward to the next one. Alright, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Later, we're back.